Hi, I'm Bobby Gillespie from Primal Scream. You're watching Toasted. And how are you doing today? I'm good. I'm really good. A little bit tired because you played a gig yesterday in Glasgow? I've been playing since last Thursday. I've been on tour. Wow. And I had to come straight here and do like a day of interviews to promote my album. Yeah. But you still have energy for it? <laughs> Got to have energy for it, yeah. So you're here because of your album, which uh, will come out at 21st of July, and it's called Beautiful Future. Yeah. What are your thoughts about your album yourself? I, I really love our new album, Beautiful Future. I think it's a great album. Mm -hmm. It's a great pop record. Um, yeah, I love it. It's great. Yeah. What marks you as a primal scream? You're always innovating yourself. Your music is always new, and it. it doesn't look like the previous albums. Yeah. Why why do you keep innovating like this? And the people swallow it, right? Because uh, why do you do it? Do you search for a perfect sound or what, 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 what are you searching for? Why do we keep doing it? We keep doing it because we really love what we do. We love playing music. We love writing songs. We love recording them. It's that simple. Yeah. You but, know, but and also it's what, we're good at it. It's what we do. It's our, it's our you know, it's, we're, we're, you know, we're musicians, we're rock and roll musicians, we play rock and roll music. You know, we, we love being on stage, we love writing songs, we love being in the studio. That's why we do it. And we, yeah. love, be, we love expressing ourselves, we, you know, we need to be creative, we're creative people. Yeah, but it, it's, no, it's no search for a perfect sound or anything. No, no, not no. at all, no, no, it's not, no, no, nothing like that, nothing like that. It's fun, we, you know, we're just having fun. Yeah. It's great fun making records. can be... Pretty, yes, it's, yeah. I enjoy the process of writing. I enjoy the process of writing and recording songs very much. Yeah. Pardon me. <laughs> Important taken. Uh, um, you no, uh, I wasn't aimed towards you, I'm just... No, it, it's you know, okay, it's but... It's been a long day. It's I can imagine. Days. You worked with producer Itling, do Itling, I Itling, yeah. 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 And why did you choose to work with him because uh, the previous album you worked with youth right oh yeah uh, because we, uh, Bjorn we met him and his ideas were great and we liked him as a person he was a good guy a great guy so just seemed like the right guy for this album yeah you know? well Bjorn uh, his whole idea was that he he said he wanted to make it a record with a, with a, produ with a production like a Bo Diddley record but he did, what, what he meant by that was the not to copy Bo Diddley with you know with his use of instrumentation and mm -hmm. his vocal inflections and bluesy guitar and African guitar and stuff and African rhythms more a case of um the idea of the production which is like you know like maybe just a a guitar a drum and a voice and maybe a maraca you know just very sparse very few instruments but a very big sound so that's what he was after yeah. And he wanted a very clear, uncluttered, um, minimalist, but big, expensive production. That was just, that's what he wanted, and that's what we wanted. So we mutually agreed that we should work together. Yeah, but it sounds really big, right? Yeah. Because it, especially in the first uh, few songs, yeah. you, you there sounds everywhere coming from everywhere. Yeah. How did you record it? Did you record it with session musician or only with no, the band? No, the band. Yeah. It's our band. Our band, the Primo Scream band, is a really great band. They're really great players. Yeah. So it's only with the band. Only with the band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only the band. That's my band you hear on there. Or our band, I should say. Our band. And there are a lot, a lot of per percussion uh, parts on it too. Well, yeah, our drummer is a very good percussionist. Yeah. He was a percussionist for the English Youth Orchestra when he was a teenager. Oh. He's a man of many talents, Darren Mooney. <laughs> I liked, um, well, the songs like like Uptown, which is very full, and there, there are also filing parts in there. Do uh, yeah, Am I correct? Uptown, uh, I don't think it's that violent, that yeah. song, really, no. Oh, okay. I don't know if it's violent. Are there filing parts in, in, the, in the CD? Because I, I, thought uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, well, um, when I when I looked at eBay or where, wherever you can buy the album, um, you you can see there are thirteen songs on it. When I got my promo, there are ten songs on it, 
And um, there are a few songs missing. Are they uh, missing? I don't, I don't know anything about that. I'm sorry. No? No. I think the record company always supposed to put extra songs. You know what? It's a fucking scam. Right, the record companies are bleeding everybody dry. You know, they... They just want more and more stuff for free to give it away for free, but they make money. So the band are giving it away for free, but somewhere along the line, the record companies are making the money. Yeah, don't, um, don't you embrace something like that? I don't you... fucking embrace that at all, man. I'm telling you, the thing is, right, the record company keeps asking us for more product to give away every day, and we've just said no, 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 you know? So it just means that if you buy a physical CD, you get 10 tracks. If you download it from fucking iTunes, you get fucking 12 or 13 tracks. I don't even know what the extra fucking tracks are. You know? Are you helpless in, in that no, case? No, no. I think... Oh, actually, I know what they are. I think it's Urban Guerrilla, which is a Hot Ones song, and then it's Time of the Assassins, which is an instrumental track. Right. That's what they are. So, yeah, I do know what they are, but it's just... You know, they would actually like us to give them 16 songs, you know? Four extra for free. It's insane. They're, you know, I, I can't even be bothered to go into, you know, the amount of things they've asked us to do. Yeah, but, but you're saying... And also, the truth is, they, if, you, if you gave the record company a tape of somebody having a shit and put some echo on it and reverb, they would release that as an extra track for iTunes because... Or give it away to try and capture some people for a data bar, that da database, on the internet, you know, to get you to come to the, the band's website or whatever, because they don't fucking care, you know. The the record company gets remixes done that are shit, and we said we don't want to release them. But if we if we had agreed to release them, they would they would they would release them, you know. Yeah. I don't think there's much quality control these days. But you changed record companies. Uh, yeah, but, just, yeah, just a but, while ago. Don't yeah. you have any influence on that when you sign it? Yeah, yeah, of course you have influence in that, but we were not prepared for the amount of requests that they've asked yeah. us to do, because since the last two years, the record, the music industry has changed. It's more about downloads than physical CDs. So because of that, there's. It used to be they would ask you, okay, when twelve inch sing, when it went from seven inch single to twelve inch single, suddenly you went from having a B side. An A side and a B side, so an A side and three B sides, okay, because you get four tracks in a 12 inch. Then when it went from 12 inch to CD, they had two CDs and an A side and A side, and then two or th you know, maybe two or three different, you know, two, two different B sides on each CD, and then a seven inch single with the same A side, but a different B side, so you'd be giving away five tracks. So then it went to five tracks. Now with the downloads, you know, they're, it's, they want about eight tracks. So it, if it was up to so you... Basically, the record what, company's always trying to get three tracks from the band. Basically, you're given half an album away. Every time you release three singles from your album, you're given half an album's worth of B-sides away. You know, it used to be... So they just it's just a waste of good music. That's what I'm thinking, you know. Mm. But, but do you feel company, used? Sorry. I don't feel used. I feel it's like... I don't feel used because you know we you know we say no, but mm -hmm. I think they they just they want more and more and more. They don't the record company doesn't know when it, when to say that's enough, you know they 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 just want more and more and more and more, you know, and they can't have that they can't have that much. Yeah, but not, but you see, we're not going to give them that much. <laughs>